Over the past few days, we've been hearing a lot about hydroxychloroquine. It's a drug that is typically used to treat lupus, but is showing some success in treating the virus. But this use is considered experimental. On your side's Robert Bradfield spoke with a Jacksonville doctor who's used it on his patients with some promising results. Medicine used to treat malaria, lupus, and rheumatoid arthritis, now being given to coronavirus patients. Hydroxychloroquine used by Jacksonville doctor, Dr. Danny Polito, with success. One, we've already discharged home after he did a full recovery. Uh, another patient is almost off oxygen. The third patient is uh, already feeling a whole lot better and the oxygen demand is starting to come down. Hydroxychloroquine has been used for decades to treat autoimmune conditions and doctors say the drug may calm the immune system's response to COVID-19. But there could be some side effects, including headache, nausea, stomach pain and vomiting. There are clinical trials happening and Polito says right now the results look promising. We do weigh the risk and benefits and feel that the benefit of the trial, the medication outweighs the risk. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis ordered shipments to be delivered to hospitals in several counties. But Polito warns healthy people should not take hydroxychloroquine just to feel protected. I don't think the risk benefit ratio uh, favors a patient taking prophylactic medication. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side.